Okay, guys, it's uh, back to the hands again. Okay, uh, hello, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls. So what we have here is the multimeter, yeah? Um, when you're not using the multimeter, there's an off uh, position. Make sure that your multimeter is switched to that. They do have a, an auto switch off quite a lot of the time. However, the batteries still go flat after a while, so switch it in the off position. Um, with these uh, little ratchets, you also have a, a, an on-off position. Make sure that when you finish using your ratchet, that you switch it off and put it back in your toolbox. Otherwise, the batteries go flat in this. Actually, I'm joking, but hey, never mind. Um, so, our little multimeter here. Um, I've got some uh, heavy leads on here. Now, these uh, come out of a professional kit, okay? And uh, I prefer them over to the, the garbage that you usually get with uh, multimeters, yeah. Um, I'm not saying all of them are crap, but I find that I have a lot of problems with uh, test leads. And uh, mainly because they get screwed up like this all the time, yeah. You should really just hang them up and keep them straight, don't stretch them, yeah. Uh, however, uh, that's just a personal thing. Right, so what we've got is the multimeter here. And... Uh, Maybe you know about this, maybe you don't, I don't know, but on your controls you have off position, which I've just talked about, you have volts, um, you have uh, millivolts, we're going to talk about that in a little while, ohms, and a uh, diode test at plus, uh, an alarm, yeah. then a uh, uh, percentage frequency, which would be like a duty cycle, and then you've got amps, which I never ever use on this because the amperage on this is uh, only up to uh, 10 amps. And then of course we've got duty cycle. This is uh, something we'll get into later and I'll, I'll use the oscilloscope to explain it. But what we want to do, and you probably know this, you've got your ohms, yeah? And uh, what I'll do is I'll just set this because, uh, because I have to. It's that type of uh, multimeter. Okay, so what you have here is OL, which is uh, open circuit or infinity, okay? Uh, infinite resistance. Now, if I put them together, you can hear this. I'm not really looking at the screen, all right? I'm not a, a resistance man as such, because resistance is futile. And you can hear the buzzer going, yeah? All right, take it off. Don't work. Now, what you can do is you can, um, well, you... One way you can do is, is a quick check to see if you've actually got continuity through things. Yeah. So what I'm doing on this, uh, this is a resistor from a heater box. Okay. You can see that. Um, my favourite one, just to check a light bulb or fuses, is because my eyesight's getting pretty bad. Is to uh, to just do this. Yeah. Hang on. Touch the body and the pin. Bit fiddly. All right. And. Uh, you can hear that. Okay, so that's a good one. Same with fuses. All right. Is that you can check a fuse. Yeah. Or in situ. Yeah. You just put your connectors here. All right, hang on. So in this case, it doesn't work because they're quite fat. Um, yeah, but basically, um, you've got a, a circuit there, yeah? All right, so fuses generally blow, poof, they go, and you know if they're gone or not. Um, generally, visually, you can check them. Like I say, my eyesight gets uh, pretty bad. The, the little ones, you can't see whether they're blown or not. Um, so what I want to show you, okay, you've got your buzzer, all right? It's, uh, it doesn't have brilliant uses. I don't use it much. Um, we'll go down to millivolts, yeah? Now, you can see the screen here. Now, this is another utilisation, and uh, I love this one. Um, well, what this is, is you move your leads about, you've got ghost voltage, yeah? But when you actually make a circuit contact, you have something solid. That should really go down to zero. Yeah. Okay. So we're happy with that. That's stable. Yeah? Okay. See that down there? Now, um, light bulb, okay? Simple test. You have continuity, okay? What you'll see is that is stable, yeah? All right, I don't think my fingers help with this one. But basically, you take that off and you've got your ghost voltage, yeah? You see that? All right, or another way, if something uh, is insulating it and the circuit is not completed, again, it will still do the same thing. You complete the circuit, it goes solid, yeah? 
Can you see that? So, all right, you can check for uh, broken wires this way as well. I tend not to, because really you need to load up a wire. Okay, oh well, on that means that it's uh, gone over its range. Go back to it again. Okay, and what we have is uh, continuity there. Just uh, another way of testing something. Yeah, and it, it works for um, fuses as well. So I personally use um, a multimeter only on volts most of the time. I find that the um, this alarm here can be deceptive, especially with certain circuits. Uh, let me just let me just check that. All right. The problem with this multimeter is sometimes it just 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 has brain damage. Yeah. So I'm on ohms. Am I on ohms? No, no, I'm on ohms. There we go. Okay. So. Okay. Little buzzers, quick check. But this is not very reliable for checking brakes and wires. All right. Um. Okay. So um, what happens with a circuit? Quite a lot of the time, you could test it, um, but. Uh, when you have it disconnected, sometimes you need to power circuits up to, to check whether they have um, at least uh, sound continuity because um, checking with this, okay, uh, if, you, for instance, you're going to uh, have one strand of wire in, uh, in uh, your loom and you've got corrosion, this will still actually ring the bell, yeah? So, um... What we use is, is a power probe, okay, and uh, these, well, they say they're expensive, they're not really, because they're a combination tool, yeah. Now, uh, on the battery here, just bring it into a can of view, okay, got a connection, all right, you use the vehicle's power, and what this can do is um, power up um, circuits, for instance, you do not use this on um, a computer circuit, okay, it's uh, you don't want to be putting battery voltage in the wrong place, right? So I can check this, okay, it's 12.3, okay, 12.2, 12.3, the battery condition of its voltage at the moment. Now, basically, what you have is this, okay, um, you have a, a, a say, an earth clamp return and you have your power probe, yeah, okay. Is that, that's actually reading a circuit through me, okay. Um, so, for instance, we have a light bulb, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll do one that's a bit, uh, a bit brighter, yeah, um, okay, I could check the circuit, alright, yeah, or I could actually illuminate it, yeah, put some power down a circuit, now that, this is the difference between, um, having a good continuity and, and checking it and not having good continuity and getting a reading yeah. so um, this works really really well now I, I, uh, I use this quite often when I have a power source yeah if you don't have a power source use a multimeter yeah multimeters are not infallible these uh, these bits of equipment are not infallible either it's up to the operator yeah so I've got something else to show you about resistance which I, uh, I found somebody got caught out by uh, at work, so I've got a loom with me, so I'll, I'll just clear the bench and then I'll show you, okay, uh, what I found. Okay, so um, let's enter the dragon here. What I have is uh, an extremely uh, hard wearing um, wiring loom, and uh, this is from a trailer, okay, because I do trailers. This is an ABS. Um, modulator uh, power supply cable and it's in two parts I'll explain this because um, you guys if you're doing any installation work all right sometimes you'll get stuff that you have no idea what fits with what or you have um, repairs you need to do or solve mysteries diagnosis so uh, we'll start at the front end um, these uh, power wires okay what you have is two supplies you have an ignition feed and a battery feed so you'd always check the ignition feed see if the fuse is blown under load and this under load as well okay you also have two earths and then you have a warning lamp okay um, this will uh, send a signal back from the modulator ECU back to the, the truck to say if there's a fault or put a mill light on okay 
EBS stuff is different because it has two more wires and the, the, the CAN wires, which is the data information that's passing between the truck and trailer. Yeah, It's the same as a car as well. Any modern car will have uh, CAN lines. So basically what, what happens here, and this is quite a, a no-brainer really, um, you can see two heavy pins in here, all right, and you have two heavy wires, so they must correspond, and these other wires must correspond to the lighter pins, yeah? These plugs rot out, yeah, um, they do all sorts of silly things. They are watertight. Get years of service out of them, and then they start to go a bit iffy. Right, so what I've got here is um, our um, multimeter that's on ohms. I just need to... Uh, Set this so I've got the alarm, okay. Okay, we've got an alarm there, yeah. Look up, contact to uh, metal, yeah. So what I can do here um, is check which pins run with w which wires, yeah. So, um, oh, great, it's no contact there. Right, I want the heavy, one of the heavy pins, yeah. And so I'll uh, start with that one. Or that one, okay. So we have red there, and the brown one will be on the other one, yeah. So check that, yeah. See that? I've got continuity when I can get a contact. Yes, I could use crocodile clips or something, however, uh, I like the leads that I've got, and normally I wouldn't have this, this fiddle, it's because I'm in front of the camera, okay. So let me check all the other wires, I don't need to, but what I'm doing is a demonstration here. This is not the best thing to use, okay, especially when you're looking for broken wires. Yeah. Um, so this part of the loom um, is in correspondent with the next part. So this will join together, so you've got male and female, yeah, they join together. Um, I'll just bring it in the shop. What happened? What it is really is, is so you can get the wiring through the bulkhead. Yeah, this makes it thinner. Yeah, and there's a lot of it. So this is just a, a joiner, as it were. Okay. Now, this other part of the loom. <coughs> this goes to an ECU unit or a modulator unit. Okay. So you have a plug here, which is a weatherproof plug, and they do work. I'll tell you, they do work. You also have a split here. Um, because what you have is your ECU plug and this, okay? So that's split in this part here, right? Which has caused confusion in the past, yeah? We won't worry so much about the, uh, about this part. Or are we going to? Uh, no, it's this part. We don't want to worry about this. This, um, this is just an add-on, okay? Um, but it's actually a power supply from another socket, yeah, and then you've got a brake light and I think that was an earth, I can't remember now. Um, long time since I've uh, done this. No, so what we want, what I um, want to just have a look at here, okay, so I've still got the multimeter on a uh, simple alarm. I'm not interested in the resistance values at all, okay, so we have, remember we had our heavy duty, um, two wires okay so we should generally have a correspondence yeah to one or another pin here okay now you've noticed i've put tape on here because sometimes i need to number these okay so i can actually write on this yeah there's, there's no other reason for it um so i'm uh, i'm in one of these i'll just show you okay and uh what has happened in the past is uh, somebody's made a mistake with this because they've used the buzzer. Ah, oh, there's no continuity there, that's strange. Okay, I'll just show you the other one, which will be there. Okay, so you've got a buzzer there. Nowhere else, okay? Yeah, so I've got this second pin, is that power supply, okay? Whereas um, you have a power supply two. Nothing at all. Yeah, agree with me? What are the other pins? Yeah. They all have the designations. Okay. And... Okay. 
Yeah, so we are actually missing uh, continuity on one pin, which was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. No, sorry, it's this one here. No continuity. Problem being is that we have a component somewhere in the line, or we have a joiner, yeah? Taking into consideration this is actually a new component, okay? This is a new loom. I've had it sitting around for years, but um, there is something in there that's um, blocking the uh, continuity here. Now, I would say that that is circuit protection for this system to make sure it doesn't get overloaded. Now, um, what I'll do is I'll put a power probe, okay, which gives off a lot more power, yeah, uh, on the test uh, compared to the multimeter. Yeah, we're using uh, system voltage, okay. Well, not actually, it's a 12 volt um, battery, which is good enough, okay. And now, um, what I can do, I've got the uh, earth on there. I should be making contact. Okay, yeah? Right, so, see that? Already straight away, I have continuity and it's down at zero as well. Remember I said about um, ghost voltage, all right? Uh, if you don't have a uh, continuity, you'll get ghost voltage. It's not, okay? So, there you go. Basically, what it is, is that whatever's in that circuit, um, is protecting it, okay, and it's, um, it's not going to let current through until there's a certain voltage there, yeah, okay, so, um, the mistake was rectified without expense, okay, and that's all good, but it's just something to remember, because um, when you've got components in line somewhere, uh, you're actually not just checking the continuity of the wire, you, you're checking something else that's there as well, okay, now, if you didn't get about ghost voltage, I will say this again, okay? Now, um, right, let's just turn this, uh, this thing off like you should always do. And, uh, right, so what I'll do is uh, put it onto volts. And um, what happens is that when you have no continuity, if you can see that, the numbers jump about everywhere, yeah? So there's no continuity. It's better putting it on millivolts because millivolts is uh, actually uh, a lot more sensitive, yeah. When you go to um, make a contact and I'm holding these two together like that, you've got zero, yeah. So that is making a circuit. Yeah? If you're working out and you've got this sort of uh, palaver going on and you're testing a wire, for instance, then you might find that you've got a broken wire, yeah. Simple as.